Are you tired of hitting a paywall every time you want to bring your creative visions to life with AI-generated video? If you've been struggling to find a tool that doesn't demand monthly fees, credits, or premium add-ons just to produce a few seconds of footage, you're not alone. Many aspiring creators, independent filmmakers, and hobbyists feel locked out of this exciting new world because the costs just keep adding up. Well, it's time to break free from those financial handcuffs. In this video, I'll introduce you to a free and open source AI video generator that lets you create limitless, unlimited short form video content. I'll show you what it's all about, walk you through its capabilities, and give you a sense of what's possible with this cutting edge, community-driven technology. The tool I am talking about is called LTX Studio. LTX Studio is the fastest tool of its kind. You can install it on your own computer or use it online. No expensive subscriptions, no hidden fees, and no advanced hardware required. This is a text-to-video and image-to-video AI model brought to you by a team known as Light Tricks. While the main website focuses on showcasing the model's capabilities, all the real technical details, source code, and installation instructions live on their GitHub page. And that's where the magic happens. Since it's open source, you have direct access to the code, meaning you can run it locally, tweak it, and even contribute improvements if you're into that sort of thing. Let's talk about what this tool can do, starting with the text-to-video feature. As of now, LTX Studio generates videos that are roughly four seconds long. Sure, that might not seem like a lot of time, but there's a real thrill in seeing your written prompt spring to life in a short, loopable clip. The best part? It happens fast, in real time, at about 24 frames per second in a 480p resolution. Don't worry if that doesn't sound like Ultra HD. For a free and open source tool, 480p at a fluid frame rate is pretty remarkable. The key here is that it's free, accessible, and constantly improving as the community refines it. Light Tricks provided some demo videos, and I've tried out my own prompts. So let's talk about quality and realism. In their demos, you might see a woman with long brown hair smiling at another woman. At first glance, it looks quite real and matches the prompt well. Another example shows an action scene that looks very cinematic. Even if these aren't the best examples they could find, they still look good for something that is free and open source. The best part? You can do this too. Whether you want to visualize a character design, bring a fantasy scheme to life, or create a quick storytelling snippet, LTX Studio is like a mini Hollywood in your computer, albeit one still in its early days. If you're the DIY type, you can integrate LTX Studio into your local workflow. The GitHub page details everything you need, which dependencies to install, how to set up your environment, and so forth. But if you're not as comfortable tinkering with code, or you just you prefer something easier like I do, don't worry, there's an online version on Hugging Face. There, you can simply load up a text prompt or upload an image, hit generate, and wait for your turn. Simple as that. Let's dive deeper into the Hugging Face interface. You get two main features to play with, text-to-video and image-to-video. For text-to-video, it's as easy as describing your scene. For instance, you could type something like, a woman wearing a red dress and a black leather jacket walking on a Tokyo street at night. Once you hit generate, LTX Studio tries to visualize this scenario. Now, it may not nail every detail, especially in these early stages. Maybe you'll get some funky sunglasses or an odd detail in the background, but for something that's free and open source, it's a solid start. Think about the creative potential. Short promos for a project, quick concept visualizations, or just fun experiments. One feature I found handy is the Enhance Prompt button. This option tries to add extra descriptive flair to your prompt, giving the model more information to work with. When I tried a simple prompt, it felt too vague for the model, so turning on Enhance Prompt gave me a richer, more layered result. This can help guide the AI's creativity and produce more interesting videos. Just remember, this is still a work in progress, so results can vary. Still, it's an incredible feeling to have even partial control over a video's aesthetic just by typing a sentence or two. I tested wow. another, more descriptive prompt about a young man with blonde hair wearing a yellow jacket stands in a forest, looking around. He has light skin and his hair is stylized after entering your prompt. This time, I will enable the enhance feature. The second step in this process is entering negative prompts. This is where you specify what you do not want to appear in your video. For example, you might include negative prompts like low quality, worst quality, deformed, distorted, 
disfigured, weird hand, and so on. Select a resolution preset from the available options. Keep in mind that generating a higher resolution video will result in a shorter duration, while a longer video requires lower quality. Let's choose a moderate value. Next, set your frame rate up to a maximum of 30 frames per second. In the advanced options, you can also adjust the seed number, inference steps, and guidance scale. Once everything is configured, click the Generate Video button. Please note that there's currently a long queue on Hugging Face due to high traffic, so you may need to wait a while for your generation to complete. The resulting clip impressed me. Decent camera movement, a believable setting, and a character that roughly fit my description with a discrepancy on the right eye. Sure, we're not talking photorealistic perfection here, but for a free tool, it's a remarkable step in the direction of accessible video creation. Keep in mind that generating a higher resolution video will result in a shorter duration, while a longer video requires lower quality. You can do that by selecting a lower resolution with a longer duration. Once all the settings are configured, I'll hit the Generate Video button. As you can see, it's now a 9 seconds long video, but honestly, the quality isn't great and needs improvement. Now let's talk about the image to video feature. Suppose you have a single image, a photo, a piece of art, and you want LTX Studio to generate a short clip that adds subtle motion. Let's say I start with a portrait of a woman and prompt. My hope was to see her turn her back to the camera, gazing towards the horizon. The result, well, it's mostly a still image with some warping. Here we see that the image to video feature also still needs refinement. Some of their official examples suggest adding longer, more descriptive prompts might yield better results, but I didn't get much movement in my tests. This just shows that as impressive as the tool is, it's not perfect, and that's okay. It's free, it's open source, and it's evolving. It's already useful for quick style tests, prototypes, and just having fun experimenting. As the technology evolves, it may significantly lower barriers to high-quality video production and become a valuable tool for creators. And there you have it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI content creation tutorials.